Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1st John chapter 5 verse 4. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Are you born of God? If you are born of God, then you are an overcomer. You can overcome the world. See friends, we are being challenged every day. We face all kinds of problems every day. And sometimes we wonder, how can we overcome this? Well, we are given now the key to overcome the world. And so he said here, this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. See, it's our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that will allow us to overcome the world. Well, this world is full of uh, problems. It's full of uh, all kinds of chaos. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ had said, These things have I spoken unto you, that you may have peace in me. In this world there shall be tribulations, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And so be encouraged, rejoice that we don't have to go through it on our own. Jesus had overcome it all. That's why we only now have to have faith in Him. See, it's so critical, friends, for us to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, in Hebrews 11, verse 6, we are told that without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who diligently seek Him. It's impossible to please God without faith. That's why we always walk by faith and not by sight. See, if we walk by sight, we can stumble anytime. You know why? Because of what we see. We see people around us. We, we see people that struggles around. We see the problem. See, we can feel it. And then we can hear words of discouragement rather than encouragement. See, friends, if you walk by sight, you will never overcome it. But if only we, are, we learn how to walk by faith, then in every step of the way, we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we are not troubled by what we see and what we hear. Rather, we are assured of the presence of God in our walk, and then we can walk safely with Him. Remember that you are an overcomer. Amen. You are not a victim. You are a victor. Well, remember that, friends, that you are a victor. You are not a victim of circumstance, a victim of the wicked one, victim of this and that. No, you are a victor because you are an overcomer. <laughs> Amen. And so, friends, believe that you can overcome it all. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God, you will overcome. This is what the Bible is telling us. And that's why we, today we are told that, are you born of God? Are you born again? Well, if you are born again, then you are overcomer because Jesus is in you. Amen. And Jesus who is in you had already overcome the world. And so friends, be encouraged by this word. Yes, there will be struggles, there will be problems, but be of good cheer. Jesus has overcome it all. So may the Lord bless you friends always. May you continue to grow in your faith and walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Friends, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and live of His countenance on you and give you His shalom, His peace. God bless friends and see you again next time. Bye.